So you've been asking for kit videos and I'm fed up of answering Callum's questions, so I've decided just to show you myself. Today, I'm gonna to tell you all about how to break down your rifle and prep it just before a match. This is a cleaning video, but it's also an inspection video. So let's get into it. First thing to do, as always, is to check the gun is clear. So, finger well clear of the trigger, I'm gonna rack it back, make a visual inspection of the chamber and the magazine well, and make sure there's nothing in there. Safety can be on or off, this is an option three start. The tools you're gonna to need for this are gonna vary from gun to gun and your particular setup, but the tools I'm gonna to use today are some nitrile gloves, a toothbrush, I like this sort of nylon brush you can buy, online, it has a single row of bristles, which is great for getting into those hard to reach areas. I have a pick, always good. I have some of these interdental brushes. These are great and I'll show you what these are for later on. Some spray lube of your choice. This is not going to be sprayed inside the gun. I'll sh this is just for cleaning. I'll show you all about this in a bit. And some tissue for when we get too excited. So we're satisfied the gun's clear. First thing we're gonna do on this AR-15 style rifle is separate the upper and lower. This is always gonna be a case of getting your rear push pin out first and then your front push pin. From here, we're gonna remove the bolt carrier group. On this particular gun, it just pulls out the back, but some 1522 style rifles and things like that may need you to remove the charging handle at the same time. I'm also gonna remove the charging handle here, so I'm going to unlatch it, pull it back until it stops, and then I'm going to drop it down, and then it will come out. Sorry to interrupt your video, but if you're really liking this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a bunch. We're all about bringing new people into the sport and by growing this channel, you're helping us do that. The gun's now separated into three main components ready for cleaning and inspection. Let's bring you in closer and show you how we're gonna tackle these individually. With the lower, there's not too much to take a look at here. We're checking for any debris in any places we don't want it. And we're just gonna be checking for any signs of wear or corrosion. We will be removing a couple of bits here just to make sure they're clean and fully functioning, but for the most part, this will stay intact. Now, this is a match prep video, so I'm not gonna to go too deep into taking triggers out and taking them apart. If it works, it works, and I want it to keep on working. But what I am gonna do is catch the hammer and pull the trigger to drop the hammer like so. And I'm just gonna check in here for anything that might cause me concern. Make sure the sear faces are clean, there's no cracks or chips. I'm just gonna take a piece of tissue here. And tissue's great for this because if there is anything cracked or chipped on there, you're gonna see the tissue catch. Uh, same with a cloth, but a cloth will tend to leave strings. Uh, this is a lot easier to work with. Just make sure the sear faces are nice and clean. Not gonna do anything more than that. If you have a buffer in your rifle, then you depress this plunger here and pull your buffer out, make sure that's clean. Anything that reciprocates, you need to make sure uh, the tube that it goes in is clean and that the actual component is clean as well. The better mag adapter, I'm gonna take this out. These do get quite gungy, and if you are using your last round bolt hold open, you need to take quite a lot of care to make sure that this is all clean and good to go. So. Just gonna pop that out of the bottom like that and put the lower to the side. We're pretty much done with the lower now. We're gonna be focusing uh, the rest of this on the better mag adapter. So once we have the better mag adapter out, it's time to have a look at it. We need to clean both these parts and make sure that they slide together with no catching. We need to make sure that the last round bolt hold open chip is completely clean and free of any burrs. You might need a bit of fine sandpaper if you do find a burr held up on there. A lot of the malfunctions with your gun can come from your last round bolt hold open chip sticking and locking the bolt back or dragging on the bolt. So we need to make sure that these slide up and down smoothly. So we're gonna start off by taking my brush and some of my spray oil of whatever description I like and just spray some of that onto the end of the brush. Let's just go to town on this, make sure we clean that thoroughly. What the oil will do is it'll help to loosen any dirt and the solvents in the oil will help to break down some of this. Now, if you're staying on top of it regularly, you won't need to do much more than this. However, if you haven't cleaned your gun in a while, you'll probably need to get something a bit more aggressive, like maybe some Hoppies number nine in there. And then I'm just gonna dry that off with tissue. 
Now ideally when this goes back together, this is gonna go back together completely dry. We don't want to oil these parts at all. The oil will attract dust and dirt and that will cause it to stick. You can see this one's had a little bit of filing and polishing in the past. It is a requirement with these. Um, they do build up burrs over time, so you'll need to file those down. Onto the Better Mag adapter, we've got our brush loaded with a bit of oil. We're just going to scrub away at anything that we can see that's got some dirt on it. These bits up here get particularly nasty. And I'm actually going to use a pick here just to dig out some of that congealed wax that tends to build up on there. We're going to start focusing on some of the more important bits at the back here as we just brush that out of there. And this is where I really like this brush for its small bit at the back here. It's going to help me get right into those bits that would otherwise be very difficult. And this channel here, very important, because this is where a lot of that catching and dragging can come from. Once that's all done, you can go rinse it off with some water if you like. I'm just gonna wipe it dry here. Again, this is a piece that's gonna go back together in the gun, completely bone dry. And now whilst it might have looked dirty while, whilst I was brushing it, you can see that oil's doing a really good job of holding the dirt away from the parts. So as I wipe it down, the majority of that just comes right off. So once these are clean, you'll notice it's not pristine. It doesn't need to be. I've just made sure that all the important parts are clean. Make sure that the chip slides up and down smoothly without catching. We'll put that to one side and we'll get onto the bolt carrier group. This is where we're going to be focusing most of our efforts. A lot of the working parts that make your gun run are in here. So we need to make sure everything is tip top, clean and ready to go. I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you've already seen Callum's video where he shows you how to disassemble one of these. So we're gonna do it in exactly the same way. First thing we're gonna do is pull the bolt back and I'm gonna use my thumb to spread apart the two rails at the front, just allowing this piece to drop free. Now control the bolt because it is under spring pressure and just let it forwards so you can separate the spring, the rails, and if you have a bolt mass, you can pull that off as well. Last thing we're gonna do for disassembly here is we're just going to pull this pin out. And now I'm sure you already know you can use another firing pin to do this should you have a spare, and you always should got a split pin, a firing pin, and a firing pin spring. A lot of our dirt and crud is gonna build up on this spring and its guide rod, so we're just going to push from the bottom of the guide rod and get that spring started, pull it all the way off, just like so. What I'm gonna do here is just wipe the guide rod down, get the majority of that muck off like so. And what I like to do with the spring is put it in a tissue or a cloth like this and just give it a little bit of a roll and you'll pull most of the rubbish off of the outside of it. Hopefully most of the rubbish off from the inside of the spring was on your guide rod and you've just cleaned that off. There we go. So let's move on to the collar at the front of the CMMG kit. I'm gonna take my brush and load it down with a bit of oil. It's just gonna help get some of that dirt moving. And I'm going to focus a lot of my efforts here on this feed ramp at the front. It... Once I've done that, I'll just scrub around the inside there and anywhere else I can see dirt. There's not a lot going on here. Make sure that extractor slot is clear. And that's it. Dry this off and pop it to one side for now. Just make doubly sure that that feed ramp is sparkling clean if you can get it so. Next we're going to wipe down some of the non-moving parts. I'm just going to give that a wipe. If you've been oiling your gun and staying on top of maintenance then most of that should just come straight off. Also got a little split pin here. Give that a wipe. We'll get onto the bolt carrier group now. We, you'll notice we haven't removed the extractor but one thing I'm going to check here which is super super important is I'm just going to check the condition of the extractor here. Very difficult to do whilst the gun's dirty, so we have our brush loaded down with oil. Give that a scrub, make sure to get right up inside the bolt face there. I'm actually going to take a pick here and I'm going to scrape all along the inside of this cutout. Really going to make sure that that's nice and clean. 
If you don't get this bit nice and clean, don't get all the rubbish out from inside that cutout, uh, your gun can struggle to go into battery, so, and you will get light strikes. Right inside where the rails go. And just at the top here. Don't need to, but you do get a bit of crud up there. And you can wipe that clean afterwards, making sure to get into all those areas that just worked out. You'll notice I didn't pay much attention to the back of the bolt here. Again, this is just a pre-match clean. I'm not gonna do much more than that, apart from moving on to the firing pin. Firing pin needs to be bone dry and completely clean. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no buildup on the front of that. Roll that spring in that tissue. Now I'm gonna take the smaller of our two interdental brushes, a little spray on there and I'm gonna go into the firing pin hole. Make sure to give that a really good scrub. And just dry that off there. Now, what we've done here is we've in, ended up introducing some oil into this channel here. A lot of it will just uh, gas off of its own accord if you're using a light oil, but I'm gonna actually use the end of the firing pin just to go in there and clean it out. Can you see all that dirt coming off? Take a clean tissue so you can see. And I'm just going to wipe that like that. It's quite a lot of dirt we've just pulled out of there. And I'm going to keep going at this, like that, using the end of the firing pin, until the firing pin itself comes out clean. Give it a little wiggle as you go. Once that starts coming out relatively clean, it's time to put all that back together again. So I'm going to give this a little twist to get the spring on. Pop that in and we'll put our split pin in. Like so, just make sure that all moves freely without catching. And move on to the last part, which is the rails. Again, if you've been using a good quality oil, there's not a lot to do here apart from just wipe it down like so. You'll find a lot of dirt will tend to build up in here. You can attack that with a brush if you like. It's not super critical to performance. But this bit here is, so make sure there's nothing on there. The next thing we're gonna do is put the recoil spring back onto the guide rod. Now, this spring has a wide end and a small end, so make sure you can identify that. Uh, some models will have it closed down on both ends. It doesn't really matter which one in that case. Once you've found out which end is the small end, slide that one onto the guide rod. Might need to give it a little bit of a twist just to get it going. Slide it all the way to the back there. So I'm gonna take the spring. The spring is gonna go into the back of the bolt. Then the pin on the end of the spring is gonna go into its matching hole at the back of the rails like so. If you have a bolt weight, I'm just gonna place this on the end and then take the bolt, making sure that this back bit matches its locating feature on the bolt weight and just pop it on there like so. Then I'm just gonna slide those together. It will need a bit of a wiggle and to spread the bars apart a little just to get it past the ejector. Hold the bolt back and making sure that the feed ramp is pointing down, looking from the top of the bolt, slide the collar in from the bottom and make sure that clicks into place like so. So the bolts are reassembled and hopefully bone dry. We're gonna to need to lubricate it now. So we're gonna need some mag lube. I'm just gonna grab some from here. So I forgot to get some earlier. And I'm not gonna put a lot of lubrication on this. I'm going to run a line down the spring here. That'll all soak in of its own accord. And I'm gonna put a line along the bolt rail here. And the same on the bottom. And on the other side. That's it, that's all the oil I'm gonna put on here. I'm just gonna work it in by hand. If, you can, if you've got a bolt mass on, you can see it's a bit dry back here. Not a bad idea just to pop a bit more oil on there, but not too much. You don't want to give dirt anywhere to stick to. Right, that's all done. 
The last thing we're gonna look at here is the upper. This is an often neglected part, and whilst there's not a lot to do in here, there are certainly some key areas that you need to take some care over. We've got a sprayed brush. We're gonna get in there and just brush some of the gunk out of the inside, all around the back of the barrel there. And once we've done that, we're just gonna take some clean tissue and clean it out. Now here's the thing, you're gonna turn the tissue into a tool. We're gonna to take it, twist it up like so, so it's a bit more rigid, and that'll let us get right in behind there and pull out all that dirt we've just scrubbed away. You can go to town on your upper, but I'm not really going to. There's a lot of dirt and crud up here that you might wanna get rid of, but I'm more focusing on getting it out of this area at the front here. One other thing to check is your extractor cutout. Make sure that's clean, not got any cracks or burrs. You can just see that at the breech face there. Last thing we're going to do is I'm going to take our bigger of our incidental brushes that we sprayed up earlier. I'm going to give it a little bend, just help us get in there, get right up into the chamber. I'll come from this angle so you can see, and just clean the chamber. All I want to do is make sure that no bits of brass or anything coming out, anything that might give me cause of concern. If you've got big hands like me, you want to make sure you get all that oil out of the chamber. So I'm just going to use a cotton bud. Any of you complain that I didn't show you the cotton bud at the beginning? Well, suck it, I forgot about it, all right? Now, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and put a pull through through the barrel. I will do that at some point before the next match, but just to show you, that's what I'm gonna do to try and take care of the chamber. Now, it's back onto reassembly. So the first thing we're gonna do is reassemble the lower. This involves the better mag adapter. Making sure that our little chip is moving in and out freely. We're actually gonna take him out for now and the better mag adapter gets reinserted up inside the magwell. It's got this little button on the side of it that we're gonna to need to depress as we go. So I'm gonna start by sliding that in there like so, and then I can take my pick and depress that button, get that going. You will need to press your mag release to get it past there. Push it all the way to the top so that it comes out the top there. Now, this isn't quite how we want to do it. We're going to push that down, cock the hammer. I'm going to pop the safety on so that it doesn't drop by itself. This little tab on the bolt catch needs to sit inside this little cutout on the better mag adapter. So hook it in there so it sits between the two and then pull the adapter up, making sure, of course, that that goes in straight. It does look like it's sitting a little high. It doesn't matter if you put it up too high because when you put the upper on, it will push it back down into the place it needs to be. Also, something I get asked a lot is, I've lost my little bit of foam here. Don't worry about it too much. It just stops things rattling around. You can put any sort of piece of foam back there if you wanted to, or you can run the gun without. Now we're done with the cleaning and inspection, it's time to put it all back together. Let's start with the upper and the charging handle. The charging handle has these two little wings on it, and there is a matching cut inside the upper that we want to line those up with. Once you get it to just the right point, the charging handle will drop in, and on this style of gun, you can close it all the way. If you have a 1522, you're gonna to need to put the bolt carrier group in before you slide that charging handle home. With this, however, I'm just gonna take the bolt carrier group and slide it all the way in like that. Taking the upper, I'm gonna assemble the upper completely onto the lower. This makes it very easy for me to then just push the front and rear takedown pins into place. And that's it. Your gun is clean and ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Connors from English Shooting. I hope to see you soon.